Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Um, I'm working on the tractor today, and uh, I thought I'd do a video talking about a really simple upgrade you guys can do to most tractors, not all tractors, but most Craftsman, Husqvarna, MTDs, um, probably Murray, I would say. A lot, of, a lot of the tractors, as long as the battery is mounted up front and not under the seat, this is a relatively simple upgrade. The upgrade is, I'm going to upgrade this from a lawnmower style battery to an automotive style battery. I have a used uh, battery out of a Hyundai. It was $9. Um, some core charges are like $7, so let's say $10, okay? The only tools you're going to need to do this job, and this is really cool about it, is a uh, 11 millimeter, or I think the equivalent is 7 16 and a 13 millimeter, which uh, a half inch will also do the trick. That's the only two tools you're going to need to do this job. You are going to need to purchase two items. They're very inexpensive, less than $2 a piece, and that is battery terminal connectors. Okay, that's to go from the style that we have on the mower to uh, an automotive style. If you're going to use a side post battery, like something out of a GM product, you just buy the adapters for that. You'd be at a side post connectors, but you're just going to buy two battery connectors, okay? So I'm going to stop the camera, move it much more closer, and I'll show you just how easy it is to put this battery in here and give myself a ton of reserve capacity. That means having the lights on when the mower's off if I need to, to light up a work area. That means using my electric lift in the rear, using an electric sprayer for my pump sprayer, all kinds of neat stuff. And uh, although the charging system may not be able to fully charge this battery after me wearing it down like that, I can hook this thing up to a slow charge, bring it back up to full capacity, and I still have that reserve capacity, which would be well over an hour of accessories on items running, mower off, and this battery is still going to crank at the end of the day. Cool, right? All right, let me show you how easy it is. Okay, so here's our automotive, uh, I'm sorry, here's our lawnmower battery. This one is rated at uh, 230 cold cranking amps, so it's pretty weak for a twin cylinder engine, but it, it would start. Uh, however, this battery is getting kind of weak anyway. I just picked this mower up and it's been sitting for many years, so even after slow charging it, it's not exactly great. So. You're going to take your 11 millimeter or your 7 16 and you're going to unscrew the screws for the battery terminals. Always take your negative off first, that way just to avoid sparks. That's right, I'm going to set that aside. And do the same thing with the positive. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Now you're going to lift your old battery out, and remember, you can get a core charge on this, so maybe you're not even out the $9 for an automotive core charge. They don't care what kind of battery they get back as long as they get a battery, so that's something to think about. I'll set that battery aside. Most models are going to have a rain tray or a, a drip tray. Just going to go ahead and remove that. There's a hose that connects there as well. Those two are going to be garbage. You can save that for another project if you like. And as you can see, there's a pretty good area in here. Now, if you don't have this much room, but you have more room, uh, a Honda, which is an, uh, uh, I think it's an MTP or MP51 or 51R, they're like twice the size of a lawnmower battery and half the size of a regular automotive battery, so that's a good in-between if a full-size battery won't fit. I'm putting a 24F in here, and it's a full-size battery, and as you'll see, without a whole lot of wedging, this thing's going to slide right in. So... That's it. I'm going to have to just kind of wiggle it a little bit because it is kind of tight on the case cover. But a little bit of finagling. This should go in. There it goes. Okay. There it is. All right. As you can see, it does clear this side and this side. I'm up pretty close against the uh, solenoid, but I've got room. It sits in there nice and flat. It's not going to wiggle around. It's not going to come flying out. And, uh, and that's it. So now you're going to take your automotive style terminals. Go ahead and install those. All right? 13 or half inch to tighten that. Right, you're going to loosen one of your 11 millimeters and remove the other one completely. And then sandwich it in between and 
tighten it back down. Pretty easy, huh? Now, like I said, this won't work on all vehicles, but on the majority of mowers that have a battery in the uh, front compartment, if you remove some plastic, even on the very newest ones, you can do this uh, modification and upgrade. Go ahead and snug that down. Nice and tight. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. I didn't tighten that down enough, did I? Give that little 13 an extra crank here. There we go. And really, that is it. You can close your deck. Fits in there just fine. And that's it. What a simple mod, right? So, I mean, pretty, pretty simple, right? Very easy upgrade. Now I've got the ability to, uh, you know, run my lights if I need to, right? I can keep those on uh, and light up a work area if I'm working at dusk. Or uh, if I'm snow plowing and I need to get off the tractor and do stuff, I can leave those lights on with the engine off if I have to. And while I'm plowing in the middle of winter, I'm sure that my mower's going to start because I've got a monstrous automotive battery with probably four to five times the cold cranking amperage of the original and again, four to five times the reserve capacity of the original. And the same goes for my electronic rear sleeve hitch, my electronic pump sprayer for my watering, and a variety of other implements that uh, I plan on investing in and creating for this beauty. So that's it, I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and this, I hope, was a helpful video that you can use to do a very inexpensive and useful upgrade to your garden tractor or lawn tractor. Take care.